I have friends and they have a, a teenage son and he's always been a very good kid. But when he got to be about high school age, he had some problems. And uh, he fell in with kind of a tough crowd. And his parents were kind of desperate. They didn't know what to do. So they thought they would have him change his environment. So they enrolled him in uh, a local Catholic high school. Well, he wasn't happy to go. He went kicking and screaming all the way. But after about a month or so, um, he was a different person. Uh, he had a, another group of friends, um, guidance counselor, and some of the teachers had taken a real interest in him. And he felt very much at home and was very, very happy. And his parents said they hardly recognized him. That was a transformation. And what we have in today's gospel is a transfiguration. We remember today in a very special way, the amazing event when Jesus was transfigured in glory before the eyes of his closest friends. And for the apostles, it was an inspiring and awesome experience. They had never seen their friend, their master like this before. And Peter, filled with an enthusiasm, says to Jesus, Lord, it's good for us to be here. Let us erect three booths, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. But this was not to be. This was just a, a, a prefigure of what was to come in the glory of the resurrection. And Jesus knew they had to go down the mountain. They had to go down to the mountain below to continue his ministry. And eventually, they had to go down the mountain to the Garden of Gethsemane and down to Calvary. On Mount Tabor that day, they would, didn't want to leave. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, his friends could not leave him fast enough. I think we can all identify with the apostles because every now and then we have a type of mountaintop experience, an experience of joy and enthusiasm that we want to continue. We don't want it to end. And we want to stay there. But we know that life is not like that, and these events can be very fleeting. And we can tend to forget. We embrace the gospel. In doing so, Jesus did not promise an easy life. He promised us a good life, a good life filled with blessing. But sometimes it can be very challenging, and he warns us of that. When he tells us that to follow him, we have to pick up our cross daily. The transfiguration was a mountaintop experience that prepared the apostles for their future trials. We celebrate a type of mountain-type experience at this very moment, celebrating the Mass. The Mass is a miracle in which we believe and know the bread and wine are transformed into the glorious risen Jesus. And in the joy and consolation of our communion, we say with Peter, Lord, it's good for us. It's good for us to be here. We don't want to leave but we know that is not to be. Soon we will hear the words, go forth, the Mass is ended. And so we pick up our cross and leave to face the trials of the day. But having been at the top of the mountain, we know with certainty that nothing can separate us from the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ.